Hi, and welcome to Cooking Italian with Lydia. Today we're going to be making stromboli, which is one of my favorites. It's kind of uh, like a rolled up pizza. So we're going to make it with mozzarella, parmesan, olive oil, garlic, basil, and spinach, and onions. So it's going to be like a cheese and vegetable combination um, with really great flavors. So let's head into the kitchen. Here we are in the kitchen. Are you ready to make stromboli? I've got a whole slew list of ingredients to go through. We'll go through the specifics of each and the directions. All right, let's go. Hi, here are the ingredients for today's stromboli. We have three fourths cup very warm water, one tablespoon granulated sugar, which I'm gonna take out of the sugar container. We have over here active dry yeast, one and one half teaspoon. We're also going to be using flour. I've got two tablespoons of flour. Here's the olive oil. We're going to use one teaspoon of olive oil and also one teaspoon of salt. For the filling, we're also going to be using one tablespoon olive oil. We have one tablespoon garlic. We have one half cup chopped onion. One cup spinach, which you see right here. That's chopped spinach two cups mozzarella cheese, and we also have one half cup grated Parmesan cheese, one tablespoon freeze-dried basil over here, and then of course olive oil again. All right, so let's get back to cooking. Hi, let's go ahead and get started with the stromboli dough. What we're gonna do is take the two cups of flour and the salt, and we're gonna mix it all together. We'll put the salt in there. There we go. <laughs> this part's going to be an hour long wait though. Okay, so we've got the salt in the flour. I'm going to mix that together. All right, I'm going to put that on the side. We're also going to take the three fourths cup warm water and the active dry yeast. We're going to put the yeast in the water. There we go. We're also going to take the sugar and add that in. Scoop. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix in the sugar, water, and yeast. Get another spoon here with the whisk. And this is going to sit for about 10 minutes. I'm going to look for bubbles. The yeast is going to eat the sugar, which is in turn going to make bubbles, which is in turn going to help make us a nice stromboli bread. But I'm going to have to wait about 10 minutes. So, Here's the yeast mixture that we put together. It's starting to show some bubbles, so that's a good thing. I'll go ahead and wait a few more minutes, then I'll go ahead and mix this in with the bread mixture. The yeast mixture is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in together with the flour. So here's the two cups of flour. I'm gonna pour the yeast mixture in. Yeah! All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna mix this with my hands for about <laughs> five to seven minutes and I'm gonna keep flipping it. Once I have the dough in a ball, I'm gonna flip that in half. All right. I'm going to mix this for five to seven minutes and I'll show you what that looks like. I finished mixing the dough and placed in a well-greased bowl. It's already starting to expand. It's been about five, ten minutes. I'm going to put a towel over it and keep it in here for about an hour. And we'll go ahead and finish the stromboli from there. All right, the dough expanded nicely. So we're going to go ahead and start with toppings such as spinach and onion, olive oil, garlic, and pepper. Here we go. I've added in first the olive oil, then the onions, basil, and garlic. I'm going to add in the spinach next as soon as the onions start to look translucent. The onions are cooking nicely along with the basil. I did add a little bit more than the two tablespoons of olive oil. So this is about cook through with the onions. You can see how they're starting to get a little bit shininess to them. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the spinach. Hey, 
I went ahead and added in the spinach. This is on a low heat, so I'm going to cook this for about two or three minutes. And then we're going to start putting these ingredients on top of the dough with the cheeses and go ahead and roll that up for the delicious stromboli. The mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese are now added on as well. All right, the stromboli's rolled up and I just put olive oil on it and brushed that on. There we go, perfect. And there's the stromboli. And there's the stromboli all cooked. You can see all the ingredients in there, the spinach and the Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese. Looks delicious.